Girl here, Nerdigans. This is the Wine Only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for The Promised Neverland Chapter 164. Right now, it seems like a total checkmate for fucking Peter because um, he he's basically manipulated the Demon Kingdom now, even though, um, um, oh my god, Musica and Sanju did um, revive the High Priest. They got captured, and all that shit is not looking good. Anyway, um, Let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And this chapter is titled The Smiling Devil. Sanju, Musica, we're arresting you for attempting to overthrow the government. We've captured the bandits. We're not done. Find the contaminated. Don't let the evil blood get away. Hey, you there. Who are those kids? You both oversaw the Central Square, correct? Could those kids be evil blooded? No, these children are simply lost. They are, un they are unrelated to the evil blooded. Uh, we were there and can confirm that fact. I see. Um, orders to segregate all those with contaminated blood. Um, make sure you don't let anyone get away. Yes, sir. Yeah, they can't be here, but what can we do? Contaminated blood. Were we lied to all this time? The evil blooded clan. They were rebels who used their toxic and disease-inducing blood to revolt against the royal family. That's what we were told all this time. But in reality, if you drink this blood, that blood was able to uh, restore those who had degenerated. No, even more than that. According to witnesses, they offered their blood to citizens who hadn't uh, degenerated to prevent them from doing so. Does that mean the evil blood is a remedy for degeneration? Ding, ding, ding. And all you have to do is drink it? Ding, ding, ding. Don't worry, drinking this will return everyone to normal and you will never degenerate again. So it's extraordinary blood, then why were we lied to? Uh, so the royal family can control your ass? Doi. Um, uh, for 200 years and they're still being pursued? Because they're in the way? Uh, the evil blood gets in the way of the farm's desire to rule over us. Yay, they figured it out. If we didn't have to eat humans to prevent generation, uh, the farms wouldn't have so much power. Hold it, th hold it. Then the queen and the aristocrats used the farms to control us as they saw fit? No fucking shit. Even now the higher-ups know and yet act this way? Yeah. Just for the sake of, of their greed, everyone was captured and will get... Sir? What's going to happen to dad and mom and the big brother and sister who helped us? Are they going to be killed? Why? For what? How cruel. It's wrong. They didn't do anything. They saved us. After everyone was... um. Cured, but no, oh, Dad, Mom, please help us, Mr. Soldiers. Please, please help our parents and everyone else. Oh, what are your names? Um, Allah, um, um, uh, Mala. Listen, Allah, Mala. Sorry, but we can't do anything. So let let us at least help you two. It's the most we can do. Uh oh, damn it! Why do we have to go through this? Your blood puts all uh, citizens at risk. Yes, of uh, 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 freedom assholes therefore we must we must dispose of you for the nation for the nation for the citizens is it just me or does this feel like another Nazi germany situation with the cursed blood i'm just saying because it was all about control back then i feel like this was so nazi germany inspired it totally was let's be real this was totally fucking inspired by Nazi Germany. Uh, uh, the more I'm thinking about it, the more it really makes sense. Um, Allah, Mala, gods, please, at least spare them. Well, they were killed. That sucks. Three days later, November 13th, 2047, Gracefield Farm, finally. Oh, thank God, we've been waiting for this shit. The disposal of those who received the evil blood has, uh, been completed. Uh, just as you ordered, sir. Uh-oh. Sandra and Musica will be, um, et will be executed today. Good job. With this, there is no no one among them who will threaten the farm system. Now only the escapees remain. That motherfucker. Aren't you glad they were are, they were alive? Norman, Emma, Ray, and the others from your family. They're not just alive. They're doing very well. They even attacked the imperial capital, killing the queen and uh, aristocrats. Wow, I'm surprised to think they do that. <laughs> Oh, shit. Nat, you lied. Uh, you lied to me. They died. You blatantly lied, you naughty boy. Didn't mom teach you that you're not supposed to lie? Um, it's okay, everyone. I'm okay. Uh, don't Nat... Uh, wait, did Nat lose a finger? It's definitely broke... He broke his finger. Damn.
Either he's... Yeah, that's definitely broken finger. Um, it's okay, everyone. I'm okay. Don't not, don't try to be brave. That looks really painful. Oh, what an asshole. Uh, please stop. Don't worry. I don't care about a little injury anymore. The aristocrats who cared about their products being perfect were all killed by your friends. Now you all understand, right? No more lies. Answer my qu next questions truthfully. Have you guys made a new promise? You were trying to make a new promise, right? Um, did you? If so, what kind of promise? What does it ha have to do with the attack on the Imperial Capital? Why did you attack the Capital because you couldn't make a new promise? <gasps> Uh-oh. That little bastard. Um, Jemima! Oh my god, her... It's Aunt Jemima! Holy shit, it's Aunt Jemima! If she dies, there, there's no more Jemima... There's no more Aunt Jemima pancakes! Come on, Peter. You don't want you don't want to kill the heir to the Jemima Empire. Everybody loves pancakes and syrup. Come on, man. Um okay, I choose you. You answer. Um me? You better not give the wrong answer this time. That fucking little bitch. That little bitch. He he Apparently Peter hates pancakes. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of this chapter. Um, Sandra and Musica have, have gotta escape. They, they ain't gonna die. No fucking way they're gonna die. But, like, I'm curious if anyone else is getting the feeling that Promise Neverland was definitely inspired by Nazi Germany. I don't know why it took me this long to freaking realize it, but it totally is. Especially like with the experimentation and stuff like that. Oh my god, it totally is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. You love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, uh, Promise Neverland content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All it's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you, seeing you later. Bye.